Alright, hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to farm Dinral scales, all those bits from the dragons like the shards of horns from Dinral, Farah and Nydra. So for Dinral, what you're going to want to do is go to this shrine right here. Once you reach here, just make sure that you have your flame breaker armor on so you don't burn to death. And then glide to where I have on the map by the Elden Great Skeleton. There will be a Lionel there, and if you haven't fought that, you might want to fight that so you're not interrupted when you're trying to collect your uh, dragon parts. Did you know jumping from the top of the mountain actually increases your chance of getting Dinral scales? Well, that's why I did this. So once you get down here, take out your piece of wood, put it on the ground, and then if you have a flame weapon you can use that, or if you have uh, flint and steel just hit it together with a metal weapon. And then you can sleep until morning, then once morning comes, you can wait for Din Rath to come, and he should come around here. See, there he is. Now you can wait here, wait for him to come down, he will come down, but I'm not going to show that because I've got to move on to other dragon parts. But you can just climb up here so you can like jump down so you can catch the wind coming up, but you can just wait here, get his stuff, and now for Nydra, travel to that shrine. Make sure to have some warm doublet or the snow quill armor. That works as well. And what you're going to want to do is fly down to the spot I have here. Right by the bay. Once you get down to this beach area, going to do the same thing and sleep until morning. Unfortunately, it just started raining, so I don't know how well I'll be able to show this. Oh, come on, I got it. Okay. Sleep until morning, and then Nydra should be coming over this mountains. Then you can wait here. Yep. There she is, or whatever gender that dragon is. And then she will glide along here, he or she, I don't know. Glide along here, and then boom. She, you can get the parts then. Now what, to, for Faro, or Faro, whatever, TP to the lake tower. And then once you get to the lake tower, just fly over to the left side of the bridge here that I've put a beacon down. You would need the shards of horns if you're trying to upgrade the 
champion's tunic. This to max level, and you need two of each. So this is pretty helpful if you need to upgrade those. But you also need silent princesses, which you can get just by going to any of the great fairy fountains, which is pretty good. And luckily, because I managed to get here before six p.m., Farah has also come, which is pretty good. But what you could have done if you didn't reach there in time. Plop down your piece of wood, set on fire, sleep until morning. Exact same thing, he'll just fly over to around here, and then you can jump off the tower to get your stuff. Now to the part of the video where I'm going to show you how to transfer durability from weapons to weapons, shields to shields, and bows to bows. Uh, this is really good for getting inf infinite arrows. So you're going to travel to the shrine here. haven't unlocked the house it's not necessary but it does help a lot so you can just store items that you would need to help overload your menu like if you don't have enough space in your bow stash to do this glitch you can always keep a couple at the house which is pretty useful I have a I don't have to get any rupees so you can buy the house which you might find helpful as you see I have a broken or a badly damaged savile, savage lionel bow that has a five shot burst on it and I also have the ancient bow, which has, which is the bow of the highest durability. So you can overload your menu by taking out a shock arrow and a multi-shot bow, taking it out but not shooting it, dropping it, re-equipping another one. And you continue doing this until Link's just a floating head. Now that your menu is overloaded, it might help if you can't get your menu overloaded to use a great thunder blade or great flame blade to just make your menu a little bit more laggy. Then switch to any arrow you want. I'm just going to use a normal arrow because I have tons of them. Then switch to the bow you want to transfer durability to. So the Savage Lionel 5 shot burst bow. And then shooting it at anything, doesn't matter. Pick up your arrow again and then you can see. The Savage Lionel Bow is no longer blinking, that indicates that it's low durability. Now for weapons, it's really easy. I have the Spring Loaded Hammer, because it has high durability. I think it's 80, which is one of the highest in the games. Taking out my Savage Lionel Bow. Switching to this Ancient Battle Axe, which you can see is damaged. Hitting anything should duplicate the, or transfer the durability to the item, and now you can see it's no longer flashing red, which means that it's no longer damaged. So now for shields. Shields is an easy one to cover. So first, take out whatever shield you want to duplicate durability to. Have the Hylian shield, then overload your menu. Take out whatever shield you don't want to, you want to have transfer durability to. Take it out, shield surf, and then boom. This one's hard to prove. And I'm gonna waste this royal jar, this royal guard's shield, and I take this out, explode it. Royal guard shield broken. The Highland shield is able to withstand the bomb. The pilot isn't, but now that I've transferred durability, it should be able to withstand a bomb. In which case it does. And now Rivali's that's how you duplicate all the durability to all those items. You can now take your items back so your menu isn't overloaded. Boom, everything's back to normal. And now with my new five shot burst bow with loads of durability can now travel to the woodland tower and this is for getting infinite arrows so just fly down to here right into the lost woods don't go into it yet
just in case. But what you should do is you should fly to one of the torches at the start of the Lost Woods. So now, once you're at one of the torches, you can take out your bow with your normal arrows. And I have a turbo controller, which basically means I can tap things really fast without putting in any effort. So just keep shooting the coals of the torch, keep taking up arrows, and this should get you tons of arrows really quickly. And because you can just keep going until the bow gets the low durability and, and then transfer the durability from the ancient bow to the savage final bow you can keep doing this so technically you can have infinite arrows as long as you know how to do this glitch which is pretty useful for another glitch i will show in another episode on how to get infinite ancient arrows which is really difficult to do as you can see i now have 999 arrows so this is the end of this video, if you want to see more stuff like this, be sure to smash like and subscribe, but for now, I'll see you later, goodbye.